happy day two of vlogmas. Oh, it's really zoomed in. Uh, it is my 10 minute break time, so the students get a break from being set up the computer and just turn the lights on on the tree. I'm gonna film what I'm wearing. Oh, look all the other lights are on. Oh no. Oh. So we have a projector light, and when I turned the power on for a second, it came on, but it is, you know, solar power. I mean, not solar powered, light powered. So if it's light, it turns off. So it was on for a second, and then it turned off. I don't know if you need to know all that. Um, but yeah, so. I'm just gonna set it up. I get this uh, little sign. I put the camera on this sign so I don't need my tripod. Look at these glasses, they're so crooked. Anyway, this morning was a lot like yesterday morning. I'm in a chair. I did um, the yoga with Tom. He picked a uh, yoga that had a heck of a lot of abs. And I'm not a big ab workout person. Like, uh, you can't see my abs. They're like hidden under some flubber. And so it was tough. There was a lot of plank and a lot of push ups. A lot of like, it wasn't crunches, but like, you know, where you hold yourself, um, a lot of that, I think that's called boat, a lot of, a lot of that for yoga, and I, it's hard for me to do that kind of ab workout in the morning, but I did it, I only had to modify the side plank, I am no good at side plank, like, I can't, I can't, so I always bend my, bend my life for side plank, but we did it, I did the yoga, and then, um, I ate breakfast, started class, just like yesterday, and so now it's just my break time and I'm dressed festively. So my my thought with working and dressing festive, whether I'm at home or in the classroom, is to kind of do it like low key the two weeks before break and then the week before break, just go for it. So this is the, you know, the first week of the two weeks <laughs> before break. There's three weeks until break. Well, two and a half now. And I'm wearing this as my like, festive but not in your face festive outfit so this dress is from jc penny and it is just my favorite tartan print i love it and it is a print it's not it's not like a, a fleece or anything it's probably that material that i'm always saying i hate that polyester blend material and of course there's no label right here um but i will forgive the polyester blend because i really like the dress and I actually have this dress in, they make holiday styles in this dress. So I have like one with a, rain, a deer on it. I have some with like Christmas pictures and I have the Halloween one if you saw my Halloween videos. And I have a St. Patrick's Day one. So I like these dresses. They're pretty cheap. They're around like $15. There'll, there'll be more, but there's always a sale. So get them on a sale. And they always fit the same. And they're just a really nice seasonal outfit that feels like you're wearing a night dress like this literally feels like i could sleep in it on top i'm wearing my favorite apartment nine black cardigan my walmart leggings uh some holiday socks i love these socks they got like tea no hot cocoa and hearts with marshmallows just you know i love those and so that's what i'm wearing today at least oh Red headband from Old Navy. I think I forgot to show you my earrings yesterday, but I'm wearing the little bells. Remember, not too in your face. And that's my outfit of the day. And now I'm going to go back to work, and then I will film Colby opening his advent calendar. And then after work, I'm going to show you some pieces that I brought from Old Navy recently, including two that I actually wore yesterday. I actually put my t my T-shirt and my cardigan in the laundry to wash. Obviously, I wore them. And then I thought, oh, I want to show that tomorrow. I had to take them out of the laundry so I can show you in my haul. Um, but that's coming up later. Right now, let's back to work. It's lunchtime. We just went for oh, a quick oh, walk. Oh, first, oh. I want to have two. Okay. Um, Tom is nuking me some chicken noodle soup to warm us up. Or warm me up. He's not eating that. He's eating some fruit. Um, and Colby's having a sandwich. So Tom's heating it up. And while he's heating it up, Colby and I are going to open his advent calendar. Hey. Why is my wrench? Okay, so let's have a look. So I had to move it. Yesterday it was on here, but someone tried to eat his candies, and so I had to move it over to here. All right, Colby, and lay it down because it kept tipping. All right, Colby, let's find day number two, and I have mixed the doors up now. This one. No, that's the big one. That's the one you want it to be. That says nine. Let's look for two. It says three, that's tomorrow. 
<laughs> Where is two? Oh, over here of a tree. Yeah. Yep, yeah, put it out. What did you get? What candy did you get? This one. Let's have a look. A Snickers! Yay! It's a candy. It's a candy. I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it right now. One more open it. Tomorrow and the next day. Now I've got to move the calendar again so you don't get into it. I'm all done work but it's getting dark so I'm going to take my uh, my laptop, my not my work laptop, my home laptop upstairs and plug my... Um, Let's call it ring light in and hope that I can set that up well. And I'm going to go and show you what I brought recently from Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy. I thought you might like to see a little behind the scenes of what I do when I film. So this room massively has the best light. Like the light in here is way better than anywhere else in the house. So I'm just going to move. Here's my gifts from Sarah that have yet to make it downstairs. <laughs> so I'm just going to put them there. My ever growing boxes. <laughs> From thread up that I am keeping so I can send clothes back to thread up but currently they've suspended that because they have less staff and you know the pandemic so I'm keeping <laughs> these boxes to send my clothes to them in so it looks a little obscene over there I have to use my laptop to plug my light in I'm gonna twist my light so it's I'm gonna stand over there look there's more thread up that's actually waiting to go back I just couldn't send it because it's summer stuff and I didn't want them to process it during the winter. I mean, who's going to buy it? I'm going to have to scooch Colby's toys over, which feels really mean because it's his bedroom. But just enough so the camera won't, <laughs> won't see it. And uh, that's it. That's how I set up. That's what it looks like from my, you know, where I'm standing. So first of all, I just want to say that I brought a lot of these things on over like different sales so Old Navy always has a sale if you aren't aware of this although I, I'm surprised that you're not Old Navy has sales every single day like if you go on their website an item can change in price massively literally from one day to the next so we've had Thanksgiving did I order anything yeah I did so they had a Thanksgiving sale but it like started way before Thanksgiving and they have they've had like customer appreciation sales, just a whole bunch of sales. So most of this stuff I think I brought when they had 50% off on that particular item. And so I'm gonna try and remember the price I paid. If the tag is on there, obviously I can divide by two and tell you what I paid. But just check Old Navy all the time. The price I paid may not be the best price. There might be a better price now. Just you know just check all the time with old navy i'm always weighing up the yeah i want it to go cheaper because i know it will but i don't want them to run out of my size everything i've got here i believe is in a size extra large i've got quite a few items i can try on over my dress so i'm just gonna go ahead and and do that right i'm gonna try and do it in one one take for most of these so this is a red cardigan of course it doesn't have the name on but it's a red long line cardigan and an extra large and i obviously love long line cardigans and i just oh snuggly buggly holiday this is just everything uh it is made from 70 percent acrylic 22 percent nylon three percent spandex so it's just it's wonderful um yeah, no, it's wonderful. I thought it was coming apart there. Has big pockets. It's just I have this, I have this cardigan in different colors. Every year I buy it. I've never seen it in red. It has a really nice. Let me see if I can show you the texture. Oh, look at the lights. That's the outside light. It's orange. It's as the sun is. It's the sun. You know, it's it's orange light from the sun. But it's just so snuggly and warm. I love these for wearing. Just like I was today, my black dress. I don't know. You know what? I might wear it with this dress. It's Christmas. It's the holiday season. I don't mind breaking some rules to wear some red and green. Um, but I love this cardigan and yeah, it's a staple for me. So I brought this one and then I also brought the one that I wore yesterday and I'm going to show you. I have everything on the bed here. 
So this is a green long line cardigan, but it is not the same as the red one. The red one is like fluffier and cozier. This is more like, I don't know if you can see, like a traditional cardigan. Let me compare them. There is a difference like um, in the way they feel and in a little bit in the, I'm not sure the best way to do this, but I don't know if you can see a difference. Do you see this is like a little more textured where this is like a little more fluffy not really fluffy there's a there's a difference and they did have different names on the website too so um you would know what you were buying but this is a long line dark green i love this i love this color it's got the pockets not as snuggly as that one but a little more um put together probably <laughs> that that one looks and uh, this is so this is different. This is 55% cotton, 25% rayon, and 20% nylon. So this is a very different material to that, which is why it feels different. Probably just the cut is the same. And uh, yeah, so I love this. I did not tell you what I paid. This one, it doesn't have the price on, does it? These are something ridiculous, like $44.99. Like, something ridiculous. I believe... Or $39.99. I think they were $44.99 and they were reduced a bit and then it was the half price. Anyway, I think I paid $20 each. So this was $20 and this was $20. They do honestly or maybe really play with their prices. <laughs> then I brought this sweater, which I thought was really nice. It's winter wonder. So I thought this was a good teaching sweater because again, it just says winter wonder. It's red and festive, but it doesn't say Christmas. So it's a little, you know, it's Christmas without being Christmas. And this was $29.99, I paid 15. And again, a size extra large. Do we have that? You can see, I've only actually worn the green, the green cardigan. Um, I wore that yesterday. Actually, no, it's a lie. I've worn, I've worn some of the other stuff. <laughs> not true um this is 52 percent cotton 48 percent polyester it's very soft um i can feel the polyester and the like you know that sleek feel of like polyester it has that but um it's comfy and cozy and i can wear this on the weekend with i wear it with leggings i don't care how long it is um i think it's i mean it covers up a little bit Hang around my house. My husband and child are not going to care about the length of my shirt. Um, I love this. It's also a really cozy one to put over pajamas. I think I could sleep in it because it's not thick. It's fleecy. It is fleecy on the inside. Wow, this light is nuts. This is why it's hard for me to film during the week. I finish work and it's dark. Anyway, here's the sweater and uh, yeah, feels really good. I, I do like this one. In fact, I liked it so much that I, and that surprised me I liked it, um, that I went to buy different ones and I re really liked the other one so much. Like, I think there was a lot they were playing with just like a little ride in here. I'm a bigger girl. I want to cover, cover me with Christmas decor. Oh, my Christmas tree. Okay, so that's a sweater. And then I'll quickly put on top the t-shirt I wore yesterday. This is the Everywhere t-shirt in a size extra large. And let me show you. It is covered in little Christmas trees. They are green with gold. Oh, that light is just where I don't want it to be. Gold tops. I'm hoping you can see in that shadow. Um, very discreet. I don't know that any of my students noticed I was wearing Christmas trees yesterday. Um, this is an extra large. These tops are good. They don't last like, I will probably get two years because I'm, that's what I'm like. But they don't last a long time and I have some of these to sleep in. And my son, he'll pull on me, like he'll, you know, pull me. And they don't keep their shape well. They will completely stretch out. However, I think I paid like... <coughs> sorry 750 and I've got these for five bucks before so they're, they're pretty affordable and uh, again I really like it because it's festive season without being in your face I feel okay wearing this to school or on zoom and it's not you know not terribly Christmas but it is you know if that makes sense anyway so here's a t-shirt 
and it fits like all their every everywhere t-shirts i find that i'm a weird size of everywhere i kind of feel like i'm a large extra large this is an extra large. I always find them a little generous, but I'm definitely not the large. Like, I kind of want a large point, point 0.5. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, but the extra large, I prefer large over, over small. So, if you don't know, I typically wear a size 14, sometimes a 16. I usually wear an extra large because I like things to be a little looser. Okay, so next up is a top. And this top I nearly didn't keep. It's a Sherpa lined hoodie. Again, I believe it was $44.99. I paid $22.50, I believe. Um, this jacket really does make me look a bit puffy. It's not, it's not slimming. It's not flattering. But boy, is it nice and snuggly and warm. And I love the Buffalo Jack. So, in the end, my vanity did not win. My <laughs> love of buffalo plaid did, and I kept it. And uh, here's the hood. It, it's just, it's super snuggly. It just is not, you know, it pats me out. <laughs> because it is covered in Sherpa. Uh, but I do, I adore it. And I think it looks quite nice undone. I do it up because I'm a cold person. <laughs> like always cold and when I wear it, when I have worn it, I worn it last weekend, um, last Friday I think, I I wore it done up because I'm cold and I want my core warm. It is literally lined all the way, it's not just down the sides or along the neck and it is made from, the outside is 58% cotton, 42% polyester and the lining is 100% polyester. Um, but yeah, I like it, and I like it so much, I brought the pants. So I'm going to go get the pants right now. Oops. I'm being lazy, and I'm putting the pants on under my dress. My earring just flew out. Um, I don't know how well you can see. I will adjust the camera. Let me just put my earring back in. So these are the matching joggers. Again, I believe I paid $22.50, and... <coughs> get rid of my dress because that does not look nice okay we tuck it in so it has a white tie uh, I'm gonna cough again I don't know what's going on with my <coughs> whether this room was like dusty or something but ugh, coughing um let me see can you see me probably not has old navy written all down the leg to match the top and they are just regular joggers they have the fleecy feel inside. I'm not sure what they're made from. Here it is. Oh, they are 52% cotton, 48% polyester. They feel great. I wish they were a little longer. Let me uh, adjust. I know I'm gonna look terrible my dress hanging out, but let me just adjust and pray the camera doesn't fall. Um, I do wish they were a little longer. They go to my ankles but they're kind of floating just above my ankles i wish that they went just a little a little bit lower i still don't think you can see <laughs> okay now you might be might be able to yes now you can see see they kind of float just a little bit above where i'd like them to be i want them to go all the way down to my foot so i I actually really like them. I've considered buying the black pair to go with the, the jacket. I don't feel like I need another jacket. But just know that they are, to me, a little short. And I'm only five foot four and a half. And I don't think I have particularly long legs. I'm gonna just take them off so I don't look so silly. Um, but they're really comfy. I have them on top of leggings. So um, they're plenty big. In actual fact, they're probably a little a little generous, but again, I prefer generous over over tight. So well, I like the way they fit. The next one is for me, and it is these slippers. Again, notice the theme, buffalo check, red buffalo plaid. These were, they're size nine, that's my size. I fit true to size, faux fur. Um, these were, I think they were 10.50. I think I got them for 10.50. I have a pair of Old Navy 
slippers from about oh, three or four years ago and they didn't the, the soles are different they just had like a plastic stitched in piece and they've started breaking apart and these soles are different they come all the way up and around they look a little bit more hardcore and you know i had to get these i love them so these are actually not worn yet because these are going to be a christmas present from my husband to me that i picked yeah <laughs> but that's what they are so they're going to get put back is that everything that's everything for me but i wanted to share what i brought for my son i brought him a pair of where are the bottoms I don't know what I did with the bottoms. Are they outside? Maybe I dropped them. Yep, they are. All right, I brought my son a pair of these construction worker pajamas. It's so cool, look, the arm, his arm is, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that hilarious? I thought those were great. Those were half price at $8.50 which is not particularly spectacularly good deal for pajamas for a toddler um gap oh there's another thing for me gap will have better deals than that and so will target and so will um the children's place but the pattern it was the pattern and then because i was already ordering i needed 50 dollars for a free shipping i also brought him these red pajamas with cookies and milk which i thought were quite quite nice and again these were $8.50 cookies and milk you know not what you have at bedtime then I brought myself again these are a Christmas gift to myself but I'm not gonna wait for Christmas in fact I'm gonna start wearing them because they're Christmas themed I brought these elf slipper things and I paid three dollars cozy gripper socks and I know that they've been cheaper since I brought them uh, but as I rip a hole in them, I hate these labels. They put these labels in them and then they tear through them and they make holes. Okay, let's have a look. But I have several of these. I'm working from home as I am right now. These are just super comf comfortable. Really nice. Did I make a hole in them? No, and they got grips on the bottom. And they are lovely. Again, I got the, the one size. I'm size nine. They fit me. They will fit me fine. Oh look, it tells me what they're made from. They're made from 99% polyester and 1% 1 spandex. One per okay, and yeah, they do fit. I mean, I, I didn't think they wouldn't fit. I will show you. And if I can, uh, who, ready? Ooh, uh, there it is. Cute, comfortable, great for Zoom. I'm actually gonna keep them on. Very comfortable. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's everything in my little, that was kind of normal sized Old Navy <laughs> haul. I hope you enjoy Vlogmas Day 2. Tomorrow I will do Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day 3. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there, you know, in the afternoon. I think I might make a video about how to shop sustainably for kids' toys for Christmas, you know, like buying them at Goodwill and what to look for and what not to look for. Um, yeah, that might be what I do. I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had a great day and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Bye. Oh, subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment and share. <laughs> all that, all that and all that jazz.